Hey guys, it's Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make winter from Wings of Fire, the ice wing. Um, so in the last tutorial we made sky, and now I'm going to show you how to make winter. Winter. So in this first tutorial we're starting off the head. So what I'm going to be using is this, um, I think it's a glitter cobalt blue or blue cobalt glitter something like that and I'm gonna be using white and uh, this is like blue ice glitter or something like that that's the main body color so we're going with our um, blue cobalt glitter two beans at a time we're going from the third to bottom peg with two pins at a turn. Um, okay, now we're going to be going with the blue ice glitter. And we're going from this fourth to bottom peg on the sides. And yes, it's two at a time, two. And now we're going to go down on the other side this is the second to last dragon in my medium wings of fire dragon series because because um i am doing like a tutorial for each tribe and this is the second to last one and then my last one will be the mud wing and i'll do clay And after that, my next series is going to be mini Wings of Fire dragons with my own design of mini dragons. And in the tutorials, I'll be making the babies from each tribe. For example, well, some of them I'm not sure yet because I don't know what babies are in some of the tribes. But I know for Sea Wings, there's Aqualet. And for the... Um, for the mud wings, I can do umber because he's like pretty small, and then I'll be able to do cliff for the sky wings and so on. Okay, so now we're gonna count to the one, two, three, fourth peg. Um, push that down, and now we're gonna be going with double looped. These um, we're double looping the blue ice glitter, and since these bands don't stretch, I'm just gonna be wrapping one around this peg, around each side peg, and I'm gonna come back and stretch it across so it's neater, like, um, and like straighter, and it, it doesn't snap as easily, and it just like looks better and feels better. So I'm coming back with my hook, grabbing the two bands around that middle one, and then the edge one. I'm doing this all the way until I made They don't break. Don't be too rough with it because then it will snap. And now we're gonna take. Let me just get mine. We need um, four white for our teeth. Sorry for the loud noise, if it was loud at all. But taking a white band wrapped around your hook four times. Lift up these two, slide that on. Create another tooth. We're gonna be sliding it onto this peg. Another one. Sling it on to this. Peg. 
and the final tooth. So four, lift it up, slide it on. Good. Now we're going to go two at a time. So these two are going to be with the the darker one. The um, I'm forgetting what it is called, but it's the one that we went with down the middle. And then for, we're going to go with two of the ice blue, the one that we did on the sides. The um, it was like I don't remember. Now, so we put on all of these, so there's two bands there, two bands there, and two there, and then these are all double loops. Now we're going to make the eyes. And his eyes I am making, let me just get the bands, and you need two navy bands. That's what I'm making the color of his eyes. But first we need to go with the, uh, cobalt blue, the glitter. So wrap one around your hook four times, wrap another around four times. We're making the eyelid double loop one. Slide both cap bands on. And now we're going to make the eyeball. So take a navy, wrap it around twice, um, hold it there with your finger. Take a black, wrap it around four times, creating four loops, and this other end of the navy wrapped around twice on the other side. And the other end that is on your finger of the cobalt, just wrapped around the other end of the hook. Like that. We're going to make one more eye, so making the eyelid, one, two, three, four, double looping cobalt. And the navy. One, two, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, so we can adjust it a little later, but here are both your eyes. Now we're going to take a double loop of the blue. You could do either one, but I'm doing the cobalt. And we're sliding on all of these bands on to that double loop in order. So the uh, um, navy, the black, navy again, cobalt blue. Next eye, cobalt navy, black, navy, and the blue. So we're just, it might be all squished, but we need to put this on the fourth peg. And the end that's on your finger, it might be easier if you just put it on your hook. And then Stretch it over to the parallel peg on this side. Um, and yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so there's four loops here. Um, go through two of the four loops. Oh, I shouldn't have used that cobalt. See? It just snapped. Oh, God. I have to redo the eye. Super sorry guys, I'm just gonna, now I'm gonna use the, I'm not using the cobalt or the other blue, I'm just gonna use a white for this. So sorry guys, I'm just gonna go through it super fast, um, cause I just showed you how to do that and I just wasted time cause I have to redo them. I'm doing them exactly the same as I did the first time. Two, three, four. And 
next eye. Okay, hopefully this video doesn't take too long because of that mistake. It probably will, but we'll get through it. Now I'm just gonna take like a a white. It's not gonna show very much, so it doesn't really matter. It's just best if it's a color that like matches your dragon's head and everything. So like a white, like a lighter blue, something like that. Just do something that'll be able to stretch easier. Not one of these silicone bands, because they don't stretch very good. They snap easier. Um, so something like an opaque or jelly band. Anyways, they can be fixed later. So onto the fourth peg, two loops there. Other two loops there. They're like stuck together. Push them apart. And they're like a little messed up because I rushed. But I mean, I'll adjust them later. And we need to get two of the four loops. Okay, got two. Oh god, this seems like it's gonna break. Hope not. <clears throat> if this breaks, I'm gonna stop the video. Maybe. <gasps> no. It actually broke. Dang, I'm not stopping the video. But I don't know what is up. Why it's so hard. I am actually gonna stop the video and I'll come back when it's done okay okay guys I'm back um, and as you can see it took a few more tries because there's a lot of broken bands here but I got it on I used a electric blue jelly that's what I used it took two tries with it and a try with a white but that was extremely hard I hope the same thing did not happen for you but we're gonna start looming so Go into your cap band, move the top two diagonals, these two, and now we're going to take a, um, I'm forgetting what the blue is, the darker blue, the one in the middle. So, um, wrap a band around your hook four times, loom up, and slide that on. It's going to create kind of like a ridge. It's like Ice Wings have it on their snout. So we're going to do it one more time. I'm actually going to do it a third time. And stop right there. Now we're going to move the sides twice. So here's once. Twice. The other side once. And twice. And a third time. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. So now we're. Um, there's like a lot of spikes on the ice wing, like on the neck. But first, I'm just going to show you how to make the general, like, horns. Um, so, with our white, 
um, make a cap band. Double loop, one, two, three, four. I think it's four, so here's the one. Two. Three. Four. And now, taking three whites at a time, pull that on, taking three more whites, so here's three, pull it on, and now we're going to take three glitter cobalt blues, that's the one I keep forgetting the name of, and here's one of the like main horns. Go back and make a second, so you have two. And we're gonna go to this side, like where we loomed up to. And we're gonna loom up, slide it on. I'm gonna be sliding it on, on the other one, on the other side. And we're also gonna be making a lot more spikes. Oh, and also in the middle row, loom down once, just once. Um, so, so what you want to do? It let me. I'm just getting it onto my hook, and then I'll tell you. Um, okay, so this is just a cap band in white and then double loop six white bands. So you want to make three of them, three I think, three, yeah. So, oops, on the side where we loomed up to, we're going to loom up and slide that on. We're going to get another one. So go ahead, make another one. Put it on this side. And I'm going to be doing the third one. getting on my hook because I made them in advance and I'm gonna be sliding it on in this middle row those are all just six double loops after a cap band and now we're gonna be making one five double loops up um, five double loops after a cap band like that only make two of them, so they're gonna go on the sides. So one on that side, and another. And another we're gonna put on this side. And for the middle, we're gonna put one that has only four. So it's just a little bit less in the middle. And we're gonna leave that in the middle. Now we're making one that's four and it goes on the sides. So, a little bit smaller, goes on the side. And another one of four that goes on the side. And then the middle 
becomes a three. Yeah, got it. Wait one second. Just going to check on the book to see if I was doing it right. Now we're going to go with, I think, three. Three double loops. I haven't made any more, so I'll have to make them with you. So there's... One double looped, two double looped, and a third double looped band. Um, so now I'm gonna loom that right there, and then I'm gonna make another. Okay, now we're going to attach this onto this side, and we can loom up the last set on each side, and now in the middle, I'm going to make a spike that is a cat band, and then two double loops, so here's one double looped, and two. And we're going to slide this on right there. Now we're going to make one that is only one double loop. Double loop one. Proclaim. Slide it on right there. And we're going to make one more one double loop. Actually, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make one more one double loop, so double loop, and then double loop one. Okay, like that. Now we're just gonna bring that up, slide it on. Okay, okay this is a long video for a head. Um, I'm just trying to get a... Now we're just gonna... Um, slip knot it, slip knot the ends before we take it off. I'm doing this with some random colored bands because we're taking it off at the end. And I always say to use a different color than your body color because instead of wasting it and like twisting it and stuff, and also it's like easier not to get confused if you use a different color. So we're going to very gently take this off because of all these um, silicone bands that barely even stretch. So you have to be careful of them. turn out well. I've only made one ice wing before, but I didn't make it like this, and I made it like a long time ago. It was like, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It was under a year ago, but I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I mean, I designed it before, like I made the video, but I hadn't done it yet. Prototype is what I mean. So we're going to just Tug it because the spikes are all flat right now. We're going to tug them out. And if they're curved, make them straight or curve them the way that you want them to curve. So I'm just tugging them out. And the middle ones. And I hope this ends up looking right. And I'm going to 
about the eyes because they were in there. I'm liking this. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna um, these horns to make them like stay in. I'm just gonna tug at them. I can tug at this horn like that, and you can just adjust it some more. Mine might be adjusted more like before the next video part, because that's just what you gotta do to make it fit how you want it to be. So go ahead and do that. This is what you should have by the end of the video, just your ice wing head. And in the next part, we're making the wings, back legs, and the front legs. So I'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching. You can like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye. Thanks for watching.